Hello everyone. Now we will discuss about the activity and strategic based responsibility accounting. So uh, the reference is from the Hansen Mohan. There are three types of responsibility accounting. The first is functional based responsibility accounting or we call this uh, traditional responsibility accounting. The second one is activity based responsibility accounting. And then the last one is strategic based responsibility accounting or balance scorecard. How could we distinguish between these three types of responsibility accounting? So actually we can look at from the uh, the uh, four uh, dimension. The first is signing responsibility. The second one, establishing performance measure. The third is evaluating the performance. And then the, the last one is assigning reward. If you look at from the assigning the responsibility on the functional based responsibility accounting. Actually in functional based responsibility accounting, the assigning responsibility based on the organizational units. In the previous uh, video, we already discussed, actually we have uh, four centers, unit as center. The first is revenue centers. The second one is uh, cost center. The third is Uh, profit center and then the last one is uh, investment center so actually the responsibility uh, uh, based on the uh, organizational units we call center in this case responsibility centers and then uh, responsibility based on the individual in charge for example in the revenue centers individual in charge in this case uh, marketing manager or in the uh, cost center for example the production manager in the uh, profit center actually the division uh, divisional manager the div division managers division managers <coughs> it is uh, different from the Uh, activity-based responsibility accounting. In the activity-based responsibility accounting, the assigning responsibility based on the business process, not based on the organizational units, so we focus on the process, and also uh, responsibility based on team, not individual in charge. And then the uh, measures, actually, we are using uh, in functional business responsibility accounting, we, are, we just use financial measure, but in activity-based responsibility accounting, we are using both financial and non-financial me measure, measures. And then in the strategic-based responsibility accounting or balance scorecard, Actually, in the assigning responsibility, we look at from the four perspective. Financial perspective, customer perspective, business process perspective, learning and growth perspective. So actually, uh, if we compare uh, uh, among the three, yeah, actually uh, financial uh, actually used for the three. Responsibilities, uh, accounting, financial. In the EFBRA, we are also using the financial, and the ABRA, uh, we are using also uh, financial measures, and the strategic, we are also using financial perspective. 
and then the uh, actually the different one between activity base and the strategic base in the activity activity base we still focus on the internal but in the uh, strategic we uh, not only focus internal but also external uh, measures in this case uh, there is customer perspective and also uh, in the activity base uh, uh, there is no uh, learning and growth perspective learning and growth perspective actually this is related to people and the system the information system and then if you look at from the establishing the performance measures in the functional based responsibility accounting actually uh, perform measure based on the standard standard in this case actually static standards static standards actually we set in the beginning of the year and we use the standard for the whole year and the standard based on the currently attainable standard currently attainable standard based on the current operation and then uh, we use standard cost standard cost standard cost actually uh, how could we achieve the standard cost standard cost so uh, we, if we can achieve the standard cost yeah. so actually the performance will be good it is different from the activity based responsibility accounting establishing the performance measure based on the di- dynamic standard so standard uh, might be uh, might be set Uh, monthly so we have a target monthly and then the standard based on the optimal uh, standard yeah. optimal uh, operation actually yeah. Yeah, optimal operation and then uh, not uh, focus on the not achieving the uh, standard cost but in this case uh, targeted cost reduction so in the traditional if we achieve the target uh, cost yeah, the target uh, target cost so the performance will be good but in this case not target uh, target cost but targeted uh, cost reduction we call kaizen cost so if we can achieve the targeted cost reduction so the performance will be good so it's more challenge compared to the uh, functional base so the manager, the manager just only responsible to achieve the target cost but in this case target uh, uh, targeted uh, targeted cost reduction and then we focus on the value added cost so how could we uh, eliminate the non fail edit cost and then we uh, focus on the value edit cost if it is non fail edit so we have to eliminate and then uh, it is different from the strategy based responsibility accounting actually we are using balance measure balance measures not only for short term measure but also but also long term measure me- measures not only financial but also non financial measures not only internal measure but also external measure external in this case a customer uh, perspective right and then not only objective uh, measure but also can also the subjective measures for example we uh, we conduct survey to the customer to get the rating actually it is subjective right so we make the uh, linkage scale from 1 to 5 for example one is highly uh, unsatisfied the 5 for example 5 is highly satisfied so among the uh, respondent maybe will have different uh, perspective so we call that is a subjective yeah. subjective and also uh, we are using lag and uh, and lead measures 
actually lag measure is related to the outcome measure, lead measure actually related to the uh, the up the future uh, driver, the future drivers. So what thing that make, uh, for example, the uh, customer satisfied, for example, the lag measure is customer satisfied. So what uh, thing that make uh, the customer satisfied? So actually, uh, what thing the customer uh, uh, make satisfied? Actually, uh, this is a lead measure, for example, because we can deliver uh, on times. Yeah. Because we can deliver uh, the uh, goods, for example, the product, for example, on time so it can make the customer satisfied customer satisfaction the customer satisfied is like measures the uh, delivery on time it is lead measures and then uh, the uh, measure also linked to the strategy yeah, linked to strategy so from the strategy will be uh, translate will be translated into the operational uh, measures measures and then in this case we need to communicate the strategy to all people in the organization <coughs> and then the third uh, dimension actually we can look at from the evaluating performance in functional based responsibility accounting we evaluate the performance by comparing the actual and standard. So we can find the variance. For example, the actual is uh, 1,200. The standard, for example, 1,000 uh, uh, rupiah, for example. So we have a variance 200 because the actual is greater than the standard, the actual 1,200 and the standard is 1000 so actually we have unfavorable uh, variance and then we can analyze uh, to find the root cause and then we uh, we are using the controllable cost so we just report the uh, controllable cost from the lower level to the higher level so what does mean controllable cost cost that can be controlled by the managers when the manager can control cost, if they have authority to uh, spend the cost, the cost, and then we are using the financial uh, measure like the cost efficiency, targeted revenue or sales, targeted profit or targeted uh, return on investment. So we just use financial measures. But in the activity-based responsibility accounting, we don't uh, evaluate, evaluate the performance only based on the financial, but also non-financial. In this case, time reduction actually is non-financial, right? Uh, quality improvement is also non-financial yeah. measures. Cost reduction is uh, financial measures. And then we can look at the trend. If the trend, for example, uh, decreasing for time, for example, or the defect product, for example, on the cost yeah, reduction, if the trend is uh, decreasing, so we can have uh, good performance. Good performance in the strategic based responsibility accounting yeah, or balance forecast. Actually, we evaluate the performance based on the uh, four perspective we are using financial measure, measures customer measures process uh, business process measures and also learning and growth measures and then the last uh, dimension assigning reward yeah. in functional based responsibility accounting if the manager has a good performance so the reward the reward that we can give is a bonus bonus or salary increase promotion on or uh, profit uh, sharing profit sharing but in activity based responsibility accounting aside from uh, these four 
uh, reward. Actually, there is another reward we call gain sharing. So the manager that uh, has a good performance so will uh, get bonus, salary increases, or promotions, or profit sharing, or gain sharing. So what is the difference between profit sharing and gain sharing? Actually, gain sharing, eh, so incentive that will be given is times the uh, people or the, the the people make the improvement. For example, on the gain sharing, ten uh, percent. If yeah, the uh, manager or the uh, employees can make improvement and can uh, reduce cost, let's say fifty million, so the they will get uh, they will get ten uh, percent of. 50 million, so will be 5 million as a gain sharing. So each time they make improvement and uh, increase the uh, efficiency, the cost efficiency, for example, so they will get a gain sharing. It's different from profit sharing. Profit sharing, uh, actually, we uh, give a reward if the company uh, has a profit, right? So we just uh, uh, give reward in the end of uh, periods based on the uh, profit. If there is no profit, yeah, maybe there is no uh, bonus or uh, uh, incentive. Yeah, incentive. But in the gain sharing, even though the company has a loss, but because they uh, can uh, make the cost efficiency, the Cost reduction, for example, they still get a gain sharing. Gain sharing, even though in the total uh, can be uh, still lost, for example. Yeah. <clears throat> so, in the strategic based responsibility accounting or balance or cut, actually the same as activity based responsibility accounting, the assigning reward. Yeah. So, it can be a bonus, salary increase, promotion, profit sharing, and gain sharing. Actually, uh, grain sharing, uh, the objective here, yeah. uh, assigning the, the giving reward based on the, uh, using gain sharing actually to uh, to create the continuous improvement culture. So everyone in the organization or in the company will uh, will try to find ways to uh, make the improvement to find ways to make the improvements. So it's improvement and they will get a gain uh, sharing, gain sharing. <coughs> and then this is the, uh, the the way how to translate strategy to operational measures. So we can uh, see the link. So from vision and strategy, we translate into four perspective if you are using the strategic base yeah, responsibility accounting so uh, financial customer process and infrastructure infrastructure or the learning and growth actually same and then uh, so we set the objective for its uh, perspective and then we set the measures and then we set the targets and then uh, initiative how to achieve this target. So we call this strategy translation process. And then uh, this is in the uh, example, the test table strategy. Yeah. For example, if we want to increase profit, we can increase sales. So how many percent? Uh, we, for example, we want we would like to increase uh, profit by ten percent. How many percent should increase uh, sales in order we can increase uh, profit ten percent? Actually, to increase profit not only from sales, we, uh, it also come from the cost efficiency. So actually, there are two uh, uh, two uh, strategy here to strategy from sales and uh, from the cost. How could we reduce cost and then how could we increase sales? 
for example, we have to increase sales five uh, percent. To increase sales five uh, percent, so we need to increase the market share. How many percent market share uh, should increase in order we can increase sales five uh, percent? For example, we can we have to increase two uh, percent. For example, the market share, and then. Uh, how to increase the market share? We need to increase the customer satisfaction. Then, uh, for example, we need to increase uh, from uh, 3.5 to 3.7, for example, if you are using the uh, thinker scale from 1 to 5. 5 is highly satisfied. For example, now, uh, currently, uh, we already uh, the customer rating 3.5 so we need to increase to 3.7 and then how to increase the customer satisfaction maybe we need to reduce defective units how many percent should be uh, reduced in order we can increase the customer rating from 3.5 to 3.7 for example, we have to uh, reduce five uh, percent, and then to reduce the defective unit, we need to uh, redesign the product. In order, uh, employees can redesign the products, so maybe we need to conduct quality uh, training. So, how many hours yeah, the uh, the training? For example, how many? Uh, uh, training hours so we need to set for example we have to train the employees uh, 100 hours for example so so if we uh, train 100 hours the employees so they can in, redesign the product and then if they can do, redesign the product the product is more uh, the design is more simple for example so it can reduce the defective unit. Reducing the defective unit can increase the customer satisfaction. Increasing the customer satisfaction can increase the uh, market share. Increase in market share, so will increase the sales and then will increase the profit. So actually in this case, we can uh, see uh, from the four perspective, increase in sales and profit actually it is related to the financial perspective, increase in market share and increase in uh, customer satisfaction. It is related to the customer uh, perspective to uh, uh, redesign, redesign the product and to reduce the defective unit. It is related to the process perspective and the quality uh, training. It is related to the uh, infrastructure. Yeah infrastructure or uh, learning and growth perspective learning and growth perspective uh, this is uh, actually the uh, example uh, how to implement uh, the uh, translating strategy into the operational measures for example in the financial perspective the objective is revenue growth so we can uh, <coughs> Uh, make the indicator, for example, increase the number of the new product. So what is the measures? After we set the objective, and then we set the measures, for example, in this case, percentage of revenue from the new product. So we can uh, divide it, the revenue from the new product, divide it by the total uh, revenues. revenues. So we find the percentage of revenue from the new product and then we can uh, set the target here how many percent <coughs> how many percent uh, increase the number of the, uh, the increase in the revenue from the new products for example uh, in this case uh, five percent increase by five percent so what is our initiative what is the ways to, in, to achieve this target? Increase the number of the new products, for example, or increase uh, revenue in this case, because this is related on the financial perspective. 
<coughs> the same way for the customer perspective. Actually, the customer uh, perspective can be divided into two core and performance value. What does it mean core? Actually, core in this case, every company will have the same uh, uh, objective, actually. For example, market share, customer satisfaction, for example. Actually, the companies, uh, all company will have this same uh, measure, right? This uh, same me measures, market share, increase in market share, increase in the customer retention, increase in the customer satisfaction. Well, for example, the measure in this case, market share, for increase in the market share, so how many percent market share will increase, for example, 2 percent, and then increase customer retention, the, me the measures, the measure is repeat customers. How many percent the repeat customers? For example, uh, 80 percent, for example, yeah. uh, repeat uh, customers. So it reflects the, also the customer satisfaction, right? And then the performance value, actually, this is, uh, uh, this is, uh, that make uh, the customer, for example, uh, satisfied. Why the customer satisfied? Because our price is lower than our competitors, or because our post uh, uh, post purchase cost is lower than our competitors, or maybe uh, because the delivery uh, reliability. So the measure in this case yeah, for the decrease in price, yeah, price. So the target, how many percent we should decrease our price? <clears throat> in order more competitive and then uh, post uh, purchase cost actually how many percent the we have to reduce it we have to reduce it and then the increase delivery uh, reliability so in this case the main measure is uh, on time delivery for example 90 90 percent our target so only 1% uh, not on time delivery or maybe if we we are optimists yeah, optimistic so actually we can set 100% so all the product that we deliver is uh, on time and then but uh, the the important thing uh, the initiative yeah, the ways how to achieve this target this target and then for the business process perspective actually we can look at from the three yeah, uh, thing in the innovation operation and the post uh, sell service for example in the innovation increase the number of the new product the measure the number of the new products for example uh, how many uh, uh, the new product in this year, for example. So, for example, increase the number of new products. Uh, before we have uh, five new products in this year, maybe we can increase by six or seven. And then the operation increase the product quality. So, in this case, the measure the percentage of defective units. So, what is the target? How many percent our uh, defective units? Let's say five percent. And post sale service increase in service efficiency. We can look at from the cost trend. If the cost trend is decreasing, so actually we have a good performance. And decrease service time, for example, we can look at from the service and the cycle times. This is in the measures. <coughs> The cycle time how many uh, hours for example to conduct the service before let's say one hour now we can reduce for example uh, 15 minutes for example so from one hour to uh, three fourths hours and then the last perspective is a learning and growth perspective or infrastructure Actually, this is related to the the people and also the information system. Yeah, we cannot uh, uh, implement well the 
three uh, perspective above, above uh, financial, customer, and the business process perspective without uh, supporting by the uh, capable uh, employees and also good information system. Information system. So in this case, uh, for example, for the people, increase employees' capabilities. We can uh, use the measure, for example, the employee satisfaction satisfaction rating or employee turnover, for example. And then the increase information system capabilities. Actually, we can use uh, measure. Uh, percentage of process with a real time feedback so we can get the real time feedback for example the uh, defective uh, units so after uh, we can maybe find the uh, defective units information uh, real time yeah, real times so we can uh, make the uh, quick response to uh, make the improvement right So if there is a defect, so we can uh, uh, take the uh, action fast. Yeah. So we need the the uh, the uh, good information system, so we can find the uh, real time feedback. Feedback. So uh, that's all our uh, discussion about the uh, responsibility accounting, especially. for uh, activity base and the strategic base responsibility accounting thank you